Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Logic. Introducing the infamous straw man fallacy. As you know, a fallacy is a defect in an argument. Now here's some 22 informal fallacies, and here they're divided into three categories. Now the straw man fallacy is when an arguer distorts another person's argument in order to make it easier to attack. Now it's usually a more extreme version of the original argument. Simply put, it's a misrepresentation. When you hear a straw man, you might also hear someone respond by saying things like, don't misrepresent me, or stop putting words in my mouth. The following illustration will provide an example. Frank, I hear you got another DUI. Yeah, the police, they got it out for me. You really ought to cut back on your drinking. If you do, your situation will improve. And you really owe it to yourself to drive safely. And think of your parents. They don't want you to get another DUI. What, you're saying I should go the rest of my life without another drink? That I should give up my social life and get rid of my friends? And that I should become a hermit and join Alcoholics Anonymous? Well, that's ridiculous. I'm not going to do that. Whatever. Hmm. Notice Cindy argues that Frank should cut back on his drinking because of his parents and his safety. But then Frank distorts Cindy's argument to conclude that he should never drink again to get rid of his friends and to become a hermit and join Alcoholics Anonymous. Frank then knocks down the distorted argument and concludes that Cindy's argument is no good. And when Frank distorts Cindy's argument, he has thrown up a straw man. Then he knocks it down and declares victory. So it's important to accurately represent your opponent. And beware of your opponent's attempts to misrepresent you. See our other videos on logic, comment, like, share, and subscribe, and have a great day.